With summer coming around the corner, I know that there's going to be a lot of travel plans coming up and there's no better way to simplify all your planning, budgeting, travel itinerary, rather than to ask AI to automate everything for you. Now, in today's video, I want to highlight four tools that I've been using and playing around with to come up with travel plans, itinerary, as well as ideas and finding you flights. Okay, so the first tool that I want to highlight here is called Roam Around and it's essentially a chat GPT based travel itinerary creator. All right, so for example here, I'm just going to type in for my destination that I'm going to Bali, Indonesia, right? And within Bali, Indonesia, I'm just going to go there, let's just say arbitrarily May 1st, which is next month. And I'm gonna be there for a week. You know, why, why not, right? So I click over here, build itinerary here. And now it's gonna tell me my whole seven day itinerary for Bali. And you can even see over here that it's pretty thorough, right? It'll tell you exactly the days. So like arrival, relaxation, and it'll tell you like take the day to relax, adjust the local time in the evening you can head over here to this beach, Kuta Beach, right? And now again, it's very, very thorough. So it'll give you a day two, day three, all the way to day seven, or, you know, however long you made your trip itinerary to be. But let's just say, for example, you don't know exactly where you want to go, but you know, for example, you want to go to Japan, right? Again, you could put the start date. Start date is very arbitrary, but, and I believe it'll give you itineraries based on the season. So let's just say I'm going, you know, December 1st for winter, right? And I'll be there again for a week. And I, I just specified Japan. Okay. I'm being very, very broad here. I'm not, I'm not naming a city or anything. And I'll give you a whole, uh, trip itinerary again. So I'll even tell you like which cities or, um, parts of Japan you'll be staying at. So, you know, day, you know, one and two, you'll be in Tokyo. Day three, you'll be in Kyoto. Day five, Hiroshima. Day six, Miyajima. Day seven, Osaka, right? Tool number two is that if you know you want a vacation somewhere, but you have no clue where to go, and you just want to find a cheap flight within your airport, well, then I found a perfect website for you. So this website is called getme.flights. And as long as you put in your airport code, it will actually give you the cheapest flights uh, for your next getaway, right? You don't even know, you don't even need to know where you want to go. It'll just kind of tell you, hey, you know, going here is going to be the cheapest. So if we choose our currency here, and I'm coming from LAX, for example, I'm going to hit search flights over here. And what happens is that it's going to give me a lot of flight options that is that is very, very affordable and reasonable in terms of price. So you can see here that, you know, the cheapest flight tomorrow is going to go to Las Vegas, right? And it's $110. The cheapest flight in the next seven days, again, it's going to be same thing going to Las Vegas, but it'll be $29. And again, you can definitely try different airport codes as well. So instead of just, you know, going to Las Vegas from LA, I tried putting another different airport code that is also nearby and it's taking me to, again, Las Vegas. It's taking me to San Francisco. It's taking me to New York, LaGuardia airport. So again, you could play around with the airport code because I know that in some places you can have more than one domestic airports around and you can try putting those in, in the airport code and try to play around with and see which flight destination is the cheapest and where you can actually go. And now you can see how you can pair this up with the other tool. Now that you have a destination, you could put that in the roam around tool and just make a plan an itinerary for you. So you already have a cheap flight and you have your vacation itinerary booked already. Now the next travel AI tool here as well is going to be a lot of travel ideas. So you can actually narrow it down to what you want to do and again how long you're staying there or where you want to go. Here I am I'm on bettertravel.ai and you can actually tell it on like what you want to do in your travel right. So for example here to give you an example like trying new foods, warm weather, whatever. But for example I want to say I'm looking for the beach, you know a uh, tropical island uh, vibe, you know. I'm looking for um, exotic foods and you know, you could put as much things as you want in here and what you exactly want to achieve in your travel. So where are you coming from, right? So for example, I'm coming from Los Angeles, California, and you can actually check whether you want to go international or you want to stay within your country. For this purpose, I'm just going to type international. How long are you planning to stay there? Um, two weeks. That's perfect budget. Well, obviously, you know, I want to say low budget, but again, if you're living in that lavish life, you can put in, you know, high budget or luxury, whatever. Now it's going to give me the trip ideas that I've just, you know, told the AI to do. So it's generating some trip ideas here. Give it like a couple seconds and you can see here exactly what it came up with, right? So here it's, it's telling me to explore Thailand's beaches and night markets, discover Vietnam's culture and cuisine. And again, it's telling me that I wanted exotic foods, right? So, and like night markets. So here you go. It's unique shops, all very, very exotic islands. And again, it has that criteria that I want, especially since I checkmarked the international button. Now, last but not least, right? You've already got the itinerary down. You already got the flights down. You already got, you know, all this customized travel planning to your liking. Now you just need to find out where to stay. And this site is called staypia.com. 
So Stapia, it's, you know, it scans through a bunch of all the other websites like Expedia, Hotels.com, Booking.com, whatever it may be. And it will actually filter down the cheapest of the cheapest hotel prices, right? So for example, let's just say we're going to Las Vegas, May 22nd to May 25th, right? So let's just put that down. Two adults, let's just see what it could find for us in terms of hotels and lodging. So I'm not really sure what kind of AI, you know, mechanic that they got going on behind here, but it's it seems like it's doing a lot of work and it seems like it's being very thorough in terms of searching. Again, I don't know what is going on behind the scenes, but it is able to gather us some nice, nice pricing. So again, it's able to give you, you know, how many stars of a hotel it is, the different user reviews here, all the different like highlights, like great location, good for shopping, you know, fantastic bar, whatever it is, and all the different prices that it's able to come up with. So, and boom, you can see here that it's able to offer you a lot of really great deals and prices as well. And it also is very nice because it gives you more information in that page, like, you know, the hotel overview, different facility information, ratings, and, you know, frequently asked questions, right? So it just, it's just able to gather everything here. So with that being said, those are all the four tools that I have in terms of travel planning and itinerary that you can use with AI. I wish you guys all safe travels in the upcoming months and I will see you guys all in the next video.